Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office.com how-to video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, avoid the annoying thing in Microsoft Word where when you enter a table of um, you create a table everything's misaligned in it. Um, so first off I'm going to show you how to sort out your document, get everything in order, then later on um, I'll show you what happens with the table. Um, but basically you can adjust the margins within the table. So let me show you uh, what happens. So if I go to um, insert and a table, and I'm going to choose let's just a simple table that's three by three and you can format it nicely later. Now as a default everything uh, aligns nicely, all the text uh, moves and you can tell it's aligned nicely because there's these uh, alignment things so that crosshatched bit is the edge of the table and the arrow is the alignment to where it sits within that table um, it's probably because I've just done a really long word there and that's not working correctly so there we go so you can move that accordingly however sometimes um, your things won't align nicely in the table like that. You'll select it and the text will overrun and I'll show you why that's happening. And it's probably uh, because you've adjusted at some point, made unique um, page margins, which seems to mess up things I discovered the other day in the table. So if I control A, as I normally do with most of my, all my documents, because um, it starts off with a dodgy text and not really readable small text and lots of weird line spacing going on. So the things I tend to do, I create single line spacing. Um, there's no space after the paragraph created in this one. I'm going to make it 12 and I'm going to go for Arial. Um, so that means that oh, there is a... So it's because I was selecting the table as well. So line spacing, yeah, remove space after the paragraph. And that stops it from uh, presenting like that. But what I'm going to do, control A, I'm going to move my page margins to make more use of the page. You see, as I do that, that's the bit, that's the thing that messes up the table. So now the page margins, if I go into my table, these arrows are now outside the bounds of the borders. So to fix that, I need to bring that back in. So I'll do it for that column. I'll select the next column, bring those back in because they're outside the bounds again. And then the same for the next column. So those are out of the bounds again. So I'll bring them back in so they're within the um, border of that particular cell, well, all the cells in that column. So in summary, why your table boundaries are going awry is because um, whether you put a table in before or afterwards, um, they go awry when you make more use of the page by adjusting the page margins. I don't, I don't know why on earth Microsoft would create such a feature that would mess things up for you, but that's what's going on. So I hope you found that helpful. If indeed you have, you can... Um, by all means, uh, do the usual liking and commenting below. Let me know if this hit the, hits the mark for you, saves you some time. But certainly, um, I do this at my own expense with website costs and things. So if you could uh, buy me a coffee at excelattheoffice.com or um, the shorter version, eato.blog, eato.blog, that would be very much appreciated. So until the next video, um, take care.